Hello and thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Um, there's a lot that I need to go over, um, so we're just going to jump right into it. Hopefully this video won't go too long. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you the, uh, the entry points for uh, the, the various uh, things that we're looking at. Uh, it's a long video only because we're covering so much. We're covering um, commodities, we're covering Forex, and we're covering stocks, and the E-mini S&P 500, and the mini Dow. We're covering everything, just so you can have a game plan for the trading week ahead. Now, I understand that Monday is a holiday. However, uh, the, the foreign exchange markets, including gold and silver spot, will be trading. So, without further ado, uh, this is not in any particular order. We're just going to run through these. Okay, real quick, the first one here is Goldman Sachs. Uh, we expect the intraday trend to be uh, to be bullish. And we're looking to buy the first breakout at 141.83. Initial target is 143.45 with the sell stop at 139.19. Of course, we're going to watch for uh, any downside reversal. If that happens, then we'll uh, get short at 135.89 with an initial target of 132.65 with a buy stop at 140.51. One note of caution, uh, when the markets do resume trading on Tuesday, it is possible we could see an inside day only because there was a uh, bullish engulfing candle on, on a lot of different securities, which usually indicates that uh, we've hit some kind of uh, support temporarily. Uh, and that the market should retrace off of their bearish pattern. So we're going to have to keep on guard for that. So regardless of the recommended entry points as far as where we see the market being bullish or bearish, you have to watch for those reversals. And you're going to want to place tickets accordingly. So, for example, here's Goldman Sachs. We're looking to get long um, on this one on Tuesday. But here's the thing. We, uh, there's a strong possibility that anything that has a buy signal for this coming week won't get triggered but the reversals will or neither one will get triggered because it'll be an inside day I, I think there's a strong possibility to have an inside day uh, in just about everything kind of like no movement whatsoever so we'll just have to wait and see all right moving along uh, the next one is ticker symbol IYR which is your real estate investment trust um, we're looking uh, same thing we expect bullish momentum uh, with the, with an uptrend bias, we're gonna look to buy the second breakout at 49.02, taking profit at 50.22. Initial stop 47.32. Watch for any downside reversal. Getting short at 46.11. Initial target 44.92. Buy stop 47.81. All right, ticker symbol JJG, which is follows the the grain futures. Uh, on this ETF, uh, we expect bullishness with an uptrend bias. Buying the first breakout, 34.57. Initial profit target is 34.72. So only looking to pick up just under 20 cents. Initial stop, 34.34. And looking for the reversal. Uh, going short at 34.04 taking profit at 33.75 buy stop is at 34.45 uh, ticker symbol moo this one follows the um, the meats such as your live cattle and feeder cattle futures contracts again we expect some uh, some uptrend with some intraday bullish momentum looking to get long at 38.04 initial target 38.91 sell stop at 36.79 Watching for any downside reversal, getting short at 35.90, taking profit at 35.03, initial stop loss at 37.15. Ticker symbol NEP. Don't even ask me what that is. I have no idea. One of my uh, subscribers asked me to take a look at this one, so here you go. Uh, uptrend, bullish momentum, buy the first breakout at 5.66, initial target 5.92. Sell stop at 523. Watch for any reversals to the downside. Selling short at 469. Taking profit at 417. Buy stop at 544. 
looking at uh, crude oil ETF ticker symbol OIH expect bullishness uptrend intraday bias gonna buy the breakout at 104.58 take profit at 106.94 sell stop at 101.23 watching for downside reversals going short at 98.83 taking profit at 96.48 and initial stop at 102.18 all right, now here's another one that a subscriber asked me to look at, ticker symbol PEI. Again, uh, bullish up, upward momentum. About the first breakout at 1349, initial target 1380. Stop loss at 1298. Watching for downside reversal, getting short at 1234. Taking profit at 1172. Stop loss at 1323. All right, trading the NASDAQ 100, ticker symbol QQQQ or the cubes or Q. Uh, again, uptrend, intraday bullishness. Going to buy the breakout at 45.16, take profit at 45.64, stop loss at 44.37. Watch for any uh, intraday reversals, getting short at 43.38. Initial stop loss at 42.42. And stop. Um, Sorry, initial profit target 4242 with a stop loss at 4476. All right, uh, look at your, your silver ETF ticker symbol SLV. Again, expect some bullishness with the intraday uptrend. Getting long at 1741, taking profit at 1751. Stop loss at 1724. Watching for any downside reversals. Getting short at 1703, taking profit at 1682, and a stop loss at 1732. All right, semiconductors, ticker symbol SMH, getting long at 2704, profit target 2734, stop loss 2655. On the downside, getting short at 2593, taking profit at 2533. Stop loss at 2679. Uh, looking at the SP 500, ticker symbol SPY, getting long at 109.58, taking profit at 111.39, stop loss at 107. Downside reversals, getting short at 105.16, taking profit at 103.35, stop loss at 107.74. Uh, taking a look now at bonds, ticker symbol TLT. We expect downtrend with uh, intraday bearish momentum. Looking to get short on this one at 98.29. Taking profit at 97.86. Stop loss at 98.98. Keep in mind, we're going to watch for intraday reversals. We'll get long at 99.84. Take profit at 100 and 70 so par 70 with a stop loss at 98.63 looking at another one that a subscriber asked me to take a look at ticker symbol TTM TTM uh, getting long this one at 16.38 taking profit at 16.76 and a stop at 15.84 as far as in downside intraday reversals, short at 15.46, target 15.08, stop loss 16 even. Another one that someone asked me to take a look at, 